So what is XY mosaicism? XY mosaicism is a genetic anomaly in which some cells contain an X and a Y chromosome, while others only contain an X. Scientists call having more or less than 2N chromosomes aneuploidy in people. This specific type of aneuploidy is called monosomy because it's only one chromosome that's missing. Now, in order to explain this, we're displaying two different karyotypes. On the left, we have a karyotype for what would be normally a genetically male individual's cells. So we can see 22 pairs of chromosomes and then an X and a Y. And this is what would be in some of the XY mosaicism person cells. Now on the right, what we see is, tw again, 22 pairs of base chromosomes, an X, but then the Y is missing. And so in, in the XY mosaicism person, they have some cells like this and some cells like this. And this can manifest differently and represent itself differently in the phenotypes of people. But the exact number isn't exactly concrete. It really depends on what happens. Anaphase lag is an error that occurs during mitosis. In order to show this, we will detail the process of mitosis, including the anaphase lag error. Mitosis starts in prophase. After DNA replication occurs, both of the sister chromosids are present for both chromosomes in the cell. During prophase, the nuclear envelope degrades. After prophase is metaphase. In metaphase, the chromosomes are lined up in the middle of the cell, and the cell prepares to divide by creating the spindle fibers, which will later drag the chromosomes apart during anaphase. In anaphase, the spindle fibers attach to the sister chromatids and begin to pull them to the poles of the cells. This does not always happen, however, in an anaphase lag, this will happen slowly or in some cases, not at all. This sister chromatid, which does not make it to the pole of the cell, forms a micronucleus and later degrades as the next stage occurs. The next stage is telophase, in which the nuclear envelopes reform. During this phase, the micronucleus degrades and the cell prepares to divide. During cytokinesis, the final step of cell division, the two cells divide and you end up with two daughter cells. In this case, due to the anaphase lag mutation error, there is one cell that is monosomy with just the one chromosome and another cell with the two chromosomes. These cells will later divide themselves and the cell with both chromosomes and all the other chromosomes will make normal XY cells and the cell with only one will have X cells, creating the mosaic phenotype. The genotype caused by 45X46XY mosaicism can yield a wide range of phenotypes. Most patients present as male, that is, having testes, but others can be phenotypically female or sexually ambiguous by having what is known as bilateral streak gonads. Basically, the genitalia of these individuals are neither male nor female, but rather a mix of the two. Individuals of this phenotype often undergo surgery, such as gonadectomies, genoplasty, or clitoral reduction to more closely identify as one sex or another, more typically the female sex. If they do not do this, they do run the risk of gonadoblastoma, otherwise known as GB, or other types of tumors. For phenotypically male individuals, there are, again, very few life-threatening symptoms. These patients are often shorter than usual, have hormone imbalances, including low levels of testosterone, and have spontaneous or even delayed puberty. Later in life, men with this disorder have a slightly increased risk of gonadal cancer, and they can also become infertile. To decrease the risk of these symptoms, especially those of abnormal puberty or short stature, people with 45X, 46XY mosaicism can take gro uh, growth hormone, or GH, treatment, as patients with Turner syndrome often do. For the most part, however, these individuals are able to live a relatively normal life.